Hello there, welcome to another quick video guys. Hope you're all doing well today and this video we are looking at Red Giant Universe. So, um, <clears throat> what is Red Giant Universe? So it's a collection of uh, plugins um, for uh, various different uh, pieces of software as you can see here. Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, Motion, so on and so on. And when you download it from Red Giant, you get um, loads of free plugins for free that you can use. But if you go for the Premiere pack, you get some really cool professional uh, tools. So um, I'm just going to be uh, going through it. So um, I've got the entire suite um, because I was looking at it for quite some time now. Um, and I've all, I've got every single Red Giant um, uh, piece of software going. So I just wanted to get this um, for my workflow. So. Uh, this is all the, I'll just scroll up now, this is all the various plugins that you get. Um, I'll just uh, start with free ones, so if we go to the free ones. These are all the free ones you get um, within the pack. There's so many, it's, it's unreal. Um, and then you've got the Premiere, so you get the, the free pack, I think it's for about a month. Um, sorry, so the free one is permanent, um, but the Premiere one obviously you've got to pay for, so all these plugins here like Hollow Matrix, uh, Retrograde, um, all these sort of uh, uh, things like Overlight, sorry, these are all um, obviously paid but um, I couldn't recommend it enough guys, I mean I use Overlight all the time in my productions, it's just absolutely fantastic so you get all of these um, with the uh, Premiere uh, version so if you add them all together you'll get in shed loads of plugins um, that you'll use, that I think you'll use, especially if, if you're into visual effects, motion graphics, uh, video editing, no matter what you're into, um, there will be a plugin in these packs that you will use all the time. So um, I'm going to go to my um, composition in After Effects um, and we're just going to have a look at a few of these. So the beauty of this piece of software is when you actually buy it, um, it will install, if you've got all these programs, so if you've got Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, it will install it to all of them. So you can use it in DaVinci, you can use it in Final Cut, it's entirely up to you. This program is for as many programs as you've got on your computer as possible. So it gives you the, the whole packs, for every single one of these programs, which is great. Because um, all I'd have to do is say, for instance, you, you buy it for After Effects or you'll buy it solely for Premiere. So and so, but no, when you do get it, um, you can use it in any of these programs that you've got on your desktop. So, um, I've only got a little bit of footage here uh, on my desktop, nothing special. Um, and we're just going to have a look at a couple of these uh, plugins from uh, Red Giant Universe. So, this is the latest one, 1 1.6. Um, and once you've installed it, you go to effects, you'll have all the Red Giant uh, plugins here uh, down your. Uh, in your FX uh, browser. So things like, for instance, um, Crumple Pie, I mean, Overlight I use all the time. Um, it does give some really cool um, cinematic looks to your productions. You know, this I use all the time um, in my projects. Uh, Overlight is really, really cool. Um, but you've got other things like, uh, where is it? Uh, VHS, which I actually love. Let me try and find a few guys. Uh, they, they, these plug, I mean, the heat wave is just brilliant. That's like heat distortion, um, but it's its own sort of uh, thing. So, heat wave is a great one. Um, I, uh, VHS is great if I can find it. Stylize. Uh, let me go into my search bar. Let's go VHS. VHS from Red Giant is just brilliant. If I can find it. Alright, let's try again. Go into effects, see if I can find a few guys. Uh, where is it? Stylized VHS. I mean, VHS gives you the VHS look. But the thing is, these um, plugins are so easy to use. Um, you just basically drag and drop them and then all you're doing really is just tinkering about and tweaking them up to what you want. So 
these plugins are absolutely fantastic they really are um, and definitely worth the monthly subscription without a doubt um, so I would highly recommend them um, let's have a look trap code is not part of it so you get a uh, universal blow crumple pie so each of these sections have got loads of uh, plugins as you can see uh, within each of these so universal uh, crumple pop has got all these you know fisheye grain universal distorts you've got things like heat wave like the shady camera shake which is you know brilliant um, it applies the effect sort of straight away uh, to your composition and all you're doing basically is just tweaking them up so um really really good and especially into visual effects i mean this is a must have i mean you think you could do the, you could pay this monthly and it's like 20 bucks a month um, which is nothing really considering what you get you know things like hollow matrix is just absolutely fantastic it gives you that sort of uh, futuristic look but then when you go into your presets um you've got loads of different various uh, styles you can use uh, a lot like um uh, uh video copilot stuff you know they give you loads of different effects that you can use within your composition so you know it's you know hologram ghost you know that i mean that effect is just brilliant that is just play that through you know some stunning um plugins really um bad reception blue uh, text glitch that you can add to your texts or you can add to any layer you want it give you little glitches in your text um you know each of these plugins um within the red giant universe um suite are just absolutely fantastic so let's just have a look at some more we've got stylized we've got glitch um so glitch will give you the impression that um there's interference in the reception. I don't know if you've ever lost signal on your TV. Um, it gives you that sort of effect, which is brilliant. Heavy damage. You know, all the all these various little plugins do help, and they do give you options. And it it's the easy way around. So it you think you know it's saving productivity for you. It's saving time because you can just you know add these effects to your transition alter your project and you know all you're doing is basically tweaking them you know um universal you know no no light transition you know this is like an optical flare thing oh sorry about that guys uh, this is like an optical flare thing you know absolutely fantastic it really is you can sort of play around with you know the scale of it and do whatever you want really and this also comes with um, no light factory. Now this is like uh, optical flares, but by Red Giant, um, if that makes sense. So you can uh, click on that and then you can go to, where is it? Options, and you've got a dedicated like uh, optical flare um, program really to do optical flares in. I mean, absolutely second to none. And you can modify all these op uh, these flares as well, so you can sort of change colours uh, with them. You know, you can play around with this stuff until your heart's content. So even this program here is 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 fantastic. Uh, old Light Factory, um, and used quite a lot um, in movies. You know, um, most of these plugins are very very easy to use. So they're you know they're not time consuming they're there to drag and drop and tweak um what else we got we got you know mask blur so if i click on that i can um you know create a mask um for the blur let me just put this up here and i can sort of mask out you know, like if, for instance, I'm sort of hiding a number plate, uh, so on and so on. I think you get the gist of that. I mean, you can make it smaller or as big as possible. So think, you know, productivity at the end of the day. Think about what you're doing, what you like to do in effects. Um, and don't forget, all this you can do directly through Premiere Pro as well. So obviously I've got After Effects open because I'm using After Effects, but I could apply these effects. All these effects will be available to you within Premiere Pro. 
or final cut if you've got them programmed so uh, transitions you know inside cube um, you know effects just ready for you to apply and tweak to your to your taste so red giant universe definitely definitely one for the uh, toolbox definitely and there's so many I mean film transition there's so many uh, different um, plugins here it's, it's just unreal you know it really is unreal these effects blend mode we can put that to screen so definitely definitely worth while the purchase or worth the purchase so um, yeah uh, I mean that camera shake is awesome picture and picture so I can get another picture here and then I can sort of move that around where I want and play it back um, so very easy to you know I can select my picture source so if I've got um, say for instance I don't know, I import another video, right? Uh, let's have a look. You can um, do it by layers, so I don't know, documents, let's so go to Britain's Got Talent video quickly. So if I was to drop that into my comp now um, and then select Afterglow. Excuse me, I've got a bad habit of sneezing lately. I think I've got a cold. I can select that Britain's Got Talent layer. Um, and I can have a uh, picture in picture um, in my videos. So, if you want to show something separately, like for instance, you're demonstrating something and you want to show it at a different angle, you've got that option with picture in picture. And as you can see, how easy was that uh, to apply? How easy was that? Very, very easy to apply that effect. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Red Giant uh, Universe uh, 1.6. Uh, a like rating uh, would be appreciated and guys I'll definitely 100% catch you in the next video. Ciao ciao!